Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 13 and in this tutorial I thought it would be best that we practice our CSS just a little bit more and uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to work with some font properties, okay? So the font properties in CSS obviously allow us to do some really cool stuff to all the font on our website. So let's go ahead and just add in a paragraph quickly. Uh, so we'll just write something silly uh, like uh, the quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog's back. And I managed to type that without any typos. Can you believe it? Okay, and that's actually a sentence that uses every single letter in the alphabet funny enough. Okay, cool. So now we've got this uh, sentence over here. Let's see if we can actually edit it a little bit with some CSS styling. Okay, so if we run this in Firefox now, you can see it gets printed out uh, quite default. This is Times New Roman font, I think. Um, so I mean, it's just, it's not interesting. And imagine every single website you went to was always using Times New Roman and it was always this size. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look very appealing. So uh, let's try and change that, okay? So what we're gonna do now is just select this paragraph by its element name. So remember we use a selector in CSS just to select the element that we want to style, okay? Then we're gonna put in those curly braces and inside here, we use our properties and values, okay? So one of the font properties that we can change is the font family, okay? And the font family is basically uh, what kind of font you're using. So like I said, by default, it's Times New Roman, okay? But we can change this. So let's just change it to something like uh, Arial, and you have to spell this right, unfortunately, okay? Arial. And now when we save this and go back and click refresh, you can see that the text has quite clearly changed from Times New Roman to Arial. Okay, and again, we can change this to, to Homer or anything else uh, that is actually installed on your computer. Okay, now when it comes to using fonts that aren't installed on the user's computer, so if you want to use a special font that you maybe downloaded from the internet, that gets a little bit complicated. So I'm not going to be speaking about that in this video. But for now, you guys can just be aware that you can use any kind of font as long as it's a font that's like standard to your computer. So uh, there are some fonts that like differ from uh, Windows to Mac to Linux or whatever, but there are some that are across all platforms. So uh, you might just want to get used to that or just read up a bit about that. Okay. And then um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a font property called font weight. Okay. And the font weight is basically whether your text should be bold or not bold. So if you type in bold here, then you'll get bolded text. Otherwise, if you type in normal, then your text should be normal. So let's go ahead and actually just uh, save that as bold again quickly. There we go. Okay, save this, come back here, click refresh. And as you can see, font weight bold makes our text bold. Now, we don't only have to use bold or normal. We could also use values that go from 100 through to 900, okay? And those basically mean um, 100 is normal and then 900 is fully bold. But if you go ahead and put in something like um, 500, then that is only half as bold, if that makes sense. It's not, it's not fully bold, it's just half as bold as it should have been. Not that we can actually see a difference here because when I click refresh, well, it changes slightly. So um, just be aware of that. If you want to be able to change uh, like your text to be bold, but not as bold, you can use those numbers as well. 
um, but let's just go ahead and put that back as bold. Then the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the font style property. So font minus style. And this is basically if you want your text to be italicized or not. So if you go ahead and you type in italic, then it'll turn everything into italics. And again, um, the other value for this is normal. So if you want your text to appear normal, then you can go ahead and just uh, print type in normal there as well. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so you've got bold, italics, font family. Uh, what else? We can also work with something called the font size property. Okay, and font size is basically how big do you want your text, obviously. Um, so you can give this a measurement in pixels and by default, I think it's around 12 pixels. So let's make it something really big that's uh, kind of noticeable. So we'll go ahead and say 24 pixels. Okay. And now it should actually pretty much double in size. So when we go ahead and click refresh, you can see the text is much bigger. Okay. So those are the four different properties that we can work with in uh, CSS when we're working with prop, uh, fonts, but we can actually make this shorter because we can actually put all of these uh, properties into one line, okay? And to do that, all we have to do is type in the word font. So that's the property we're gonna access. And then you can start off with typing the word bold if you want your text to be bold. Uh, if you don't want your text to be bolded, then you can actually leave this stage out. Uh, we can also type in italics if we want it to be in italics. But if we don't need italics, then we can also leave that section out. And then the last two are the size. So let's say um, 14 pixels. And uh, then the last one is the font family. So let's go ahead and say uh, to Homer. And now we should get um, all of this printed out. But now we've done, we've changed all four of those properties in one line. So that's one really cool CSS uh, trick. Um, you can just go ahead and do it all in one line just like that. Okay, so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.